In this video, I'm going to show you how to create pages in Canvas. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to kick off part three of this series. I'm going to go over everything you need to know to start creating pages within your teacher template module. I highly suggest you go watch the first two videos so you have some context on where everything is. And now it's exciting because we're starting the creation process. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's get into the video. All right, so I have my teacher template module here and we're gonna get started on creating and editing this blank page. So I am just gonna click on this page right here. And we're going to select edit. So within edit mode of pretty much every Canvas item, whether that being a page right here, assignment, discussion, or quiz, there is this text box that includes all of these tools, just similar to like a Word document or a Google document, right? But we call this view, this text box view, the rich content editor. We can essentially type any important information here. So maybe this blank page, we're going to do a lesson overview template page. Now I can do is I can select this. I can make it larger in size. I can make it bold. I can edit this by cutting, copying, pasting, undoing, selecting all. I can view this in full screen. I can view this in the HTML editor, which is also right here. There's a little shortcut. I can insert a link, image, media, documents, equations, tables. I can embed content. I can add a bordering line to give this page some style. I can do formatting. I can do italic. I can underline, strike through. I have options for so many different fonts. My favorite is uh, Balsamic Sans. That's my favorite font in Canvas. I then also can do different text colors. I can do background colors. I can clear formatting. And then we have tools where we can do word count apps. This is where you can add certain apps into this content page. You can add tables as well. And then all of these things right here are basically shortcuts for all of this stuff in this menu bar. So lesson overview template, maybe objective and students will complete the following. This is where you start adding in your information, but you don't have to complete everything fully because again, this is a template page. I'm going to select this, format it, and we're going to change up the font to my favorite canvas font here. And then we, when we're done, we will click save. And there you go. Now we have this template page. It's a great start. We're going to create a new page and we're going to title it weekly agenda template. So now I'm going to create an agenda page. We can type in, let's just say weekly agenda and we'll make this that 14 for format. We'll change the font back to balsamic sans. We'll make it bold. And then we will add that line like we did on the previous page. So if I actually save this real quick, you'll see on the previous page, we have the lesson overview template and now we have the weekly agenda. So now we can do Monday, Tuesday, Day. and we can change the formatting of this. So now I can start adding in ELA, math, science, history. And you'll notice I'm not doing a lot of styling with this right now. And that's because I don't have to. It does not have to be super complicated. You can start adding in things if you want to make it more custom. So we can start, you know, adding background colors to different texts and things and making it prettier color coded that way. But it doesn't have to get super fancy. Having some simplicity is is great. So now I'm going to save this page. 
like this and now we have a weekly agenda and what's really awesome is when I have my weekly agenda here I can just duplicate this and now I have a copy of it I can change the title and I can add in dates so maybe you know this is 8 12 that's the date for for this one and I have my module one here and so now I duplicate that and I can add it in here and then start customizing all of the weekly agenda right here makes it super simple for me when I'm creating stuff because I already have a template for it I don't have to start from scratch so we have a blank page maybe we style up this blank page a little bit with some color so I'm just going to add a background highlighted color we'll do purple okay so now I'm gonna just click save and we have this page and we have our weekly agenda template. So now we'll go back to our modules and we're going to add another page. This one I am going to title as a lesson reading page. I'm just gonna put all of my like pages together up here. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna be consistent a little bit. So we'll do reading page and we'll make this bold and we'll change the font to that balsamic sans hit enter i'm going to insert a horizontal line and then we're going to have our directions read through the reading section below make sure to take notes in your notebook in order to help you with the upcoming assignments there you go and then maybe we have down here a section for for the reading so this is what it's going to look like there we go and then I'm going to actually change the font to the balsamic sands I like the caps so I'm going to add that in as well or actually let's do instructions and now I can save this. And so now this is what my reading page template looks like. Another thing I can do is I can, since I'm kind of doing like this color coded thing, I can change up the colors. And so now I have this basic template that again, when I go to home or my module and I'm like, oh, we have another reading, I can just duplicate this and then click and drag it to the bottom. So we have a blank page because this really isn't a blank page anymore. This is a lesson overview. So I'm going to actually change this to lesson overview template and I can copy this and we'll actually make like a true blank one. And we're going to create a page and I'll do the blank page copy, click and drag it, bring it up here, edit, and I'm going to paste this in and we're just going to do idle and then insert important text. So I just have something super simple that I can make a copy of super easily and I don't have to style anything, duplicate it, and I can just edit it and get started right away, which is really cool. I can keep adding pages. Now another option instead of a reading page, we can do lesson page slide deck. So now I can edit this slide deck lesson. Actually, since I already copied and pasted, I can just do that. Woohoo! And now do slide deck. Anything that saves me a little bit of time is so worth it. And now down here, I can do instructions. And then, and then right here, I will create a placeholder in the center. Insert slide deck. Here, review the slide deck below and make sure to take notes in your notebook. Whatever the instructions need to be. <laughs> um, and then Grammarly is telling me to get rid of that. If we're tired of these colors, change them around like so. Now I have all of that ready to go for when I have notes or some sort of slide deck in my classroom. Okay, so I have a slide deck. The format for a video is pretty much the same. Let me just duplicate this 
And what I can do now in edit mode is I can go from slide deck lesson, we can do video media lesson. So right here, video media. And now I can change the instructions to play and watch the lesson video below. Take notes, information that stood out to you in your notebook. And then change slide deck to video media. And right here, we can do insert video here. And it could literally be any video. It could be a YouTube video. It could be a, a media that you imported into the course. It could be any of that. So now I'm just going to click save. And now we have our basic pages. So I have now a blank page, a lesson overview, a weekly agenda, a lesson page for reading, a lesson page for a slide deck, a lesson page for video media. And now all I have to do is like, oh, I want a video in my module. I just come over here and I click duplicate. I click and drag it to the appropriate module. And then from there, I can edit it and make it more specific for each of my modules. Building content like this makes it really easy for you when you're starting to bring in your curriculum into Canvas. And so in the next video, I am going to show you how to create like the easiest assignment with our assignment template. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you found this helpful in setting up your pages in a template module. If you have questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything. I'm looking forward to the next video where we go over assignments, so stay tuned for that one. Would greatly appreciate if you found this video to be helpful. If you would like and subscribe, stick around for a while. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.